light runners. Now, I've tested a ton of light runners from every brand, and yes, a lot of my videos are very Under Armour heavy. It's just because, you know what, they have the best bang for their buck and quality when it comes to certain sneakers. I know there's a lot of sneakers I certainly love. The higher end ones that are good from Adidas and Nike, but just overall general quality, man, Under Armour just kills it. So one of the light runners, I have not yet to try it, is an Under Armour sneaker with the flow system in it. And man, I hear reviews on forums and YouTubes and even in my comments saying, man, you got to check out one of the Under Armour running shoes with flow. So there's quite a few flow velocity, but you know, what? I said, you know, what? let's go after one of the newer flows and have a look at this for you guys. So I went on Under Armour dossier, saw a little bit of a sale and said, you know what, time to cop. So no more talking from me. Let's get right into the shoe. And then I keep stuttering because it's because I'm really excited for this one. Like I am with most of my reviews. But anyways, here we go. So right off the bat, you can see that this is a Curry Edition shoe. Now that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Some people think that Curry only makes basketball shoes in his line. But because his basketball is kind of a low-cut model, kind of like what Kobe did back in the day, trying to make this the basketball shoe feel more like a soccer cleat, you know, for mobility. I think that's kind of where this idea comes from. You know, the Currys, the 10s, the 9s, all the Currys, they have that nice little rocker shape, so you have good mobility, lateral, horizontal, all of that. But you know what? Why not use that same technology to make a shoe that's just meant to run forward? So anyways, yeah, once again, Curry right there on the side of the box. We flip it around and get that beautiful cut. I love that holograph you have there. It's like growing up, Pokemon cards, you know. Always like to see a little hologram. Now let's bring it close. Right there, you see Curry. Sorry, I can't read it. Let me flip it around. Flow. Oh my gosh, I'm losing mine. Curry, flow, go. And then TLTI. I don't know, you comment below. I don't know what it stands for. I just know the shoe is getting me even more excited as we get even on and on. So we have Curry there, Curry holograms at the front, big hologram on the top, and all you know, yada 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 on the bottom. You know, all that recycling good, where it's made, all that. And if you want to see more into this, just screenshot it, have a look. But I just want to get into the box. So quick peek. We got nice little Curry paper. And then finally, we get the shoe. Here we go. Let's try to bring it in close. Get some lighting. How about over here? Bring the light. And a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully lighting it up this way gives you guys a little bit of a better look in depth on the shoe. Okay, so let's go more into it. I know you guys want to see the details. So bringing it close, you see we got a hit of curry back here on the back tab where the heel cup is. The heel cup's not really that hard of a plastic. It's kind of like, I don't know, a material, like a cloth, not a cloth, but just like a fabric, you know? It's woven in all along the sides. You got a little bit of a harder piece here, almost like a change to plastic, but there you got, what to see on the tag? It probably says curry. Yep, it does. It says curry. C-U-R-R-Y, let's see. I can get, oh, there we go, a little bit of a better visual for you guys. You got this speckled pattern. Now, I believe these were called the tri, oh, the TI, sorry. Going back to the box, I remember now, the TI right there stands for Treasure Island. These are the Curry Flow Treasure Island models. Hey, look at the bottom. That's the one thing I'm very interested in. You got a hit of Under Armour on the bottom, but the way, it's not herringbone pattern. You know, it's, it's very... Divided. I think this will be great traction for a light runner. Obviously, I won't use this to run on gravel or in no a dirt. I have, you know, a lot of trail shoes. Go watch some other videos on those. But this for indoor on track, for training, for moving around, calisthenics. I think this is going to be a decent shoe. There's the toe. Get a little barrel look right down the barrel. Inside, we still got the paper. It just got Curry Signature and it says Made to Rise, Akron, Charlotte. It's got a bunch of places, a bunch of accolades, kind of like, you yeah, you won't be able to see it. Kind of like Jordan 10s do on the bottom. This has accolades on the insole. And then on the insole midfoot here. One last look, we'll have a look at the patterning on the shoe. Kind of the mesh, it's woven, very breathable. You get that pinch to it. 
You know, it's kind of like Adidas Prime Knit in a way, the way it's knitted and woven, but instead of feeling multiple layers, it just feels solid and good. Oh, and tiny little hits of yellow on here. And finally, the last logo at the front there. So yeah, let's grab the second one out, get a good side by side. There we go, nice side by side for you guys. Like this. Now let's go throw these on foot and see how these, these feel and look. Let's go. Here we go. Nice quick look on foot. They feel extremely light. They're kind of tight here, but all throughout the shoe, they're very flexible. Feel like I can move really fast and forward. I really like the bouncy feeling of them. Very springy, very energetic. A little bit of get back and a little bit of motion from heel to toe movement. These are really comfortable, very light foot. I feel in a way they almost feel like basketball shoes, but you can tell that they're running shoes. Okay, so we're back trying it on foot. Man, I love light shoes. They just, they feel like you're wearing nothing, but with that support. So final thing with this, if you look at the shoe, this was the Curry, Curry Flow Go TI. I mean, Treasure Island, but it's also noted here that is a gray colorway. Um, they're about $190, I believe, before taxes and everything. Then, you know, add a little discount on that for coupons. $180 or $190, I believe. Check your, check your online CA if you're interested. And I went size 10 and a half, which is a true to size sizing for me. Almost all my Under Armour footwear is a 10 and a half. So for you, I'd say go to the normal size that you usually go to. No, I hope I helped everyone out that was interested in looking to these shoes and was on the fence about it. You know, go check out some of my other videos too. Help me out. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, guys, take it easy.